Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to a new series here on this channel because we totally don't have enough of them already and I should probably update some of the other ones but you know, we're just gonna start off this one because I think it's actually a really interesting idea so uh, pretty much the idea of the Racing Girls Garage Showcase or whatever I'm gonna call them, I'm, I'm still not sure is pretty much to uh, take a look at some of the more interesting cards which I deal with on a daily basis and you know well, at the beginning, I'm pretty much only gonna show cards which are in my garage. Who knows, maybe later on we're gonna get some of your lights on the show as well. Uh, but pretty much, I deal with a lot of nice cards here, and sometimes you just see something very special, similar to this Karen over here. I'm probably gonna keep this, actually. Uh, but anyways, you know, I have five cards for it, uh, today which I'm gonna show you, and hopefully you guys will like it. And uh, if you do, uh, hit thumbs up, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start off with something which is okay not that fast yeah it's the honda civic si but unlike most of these cards which i have pinks them before by the way uh this one is actually completely custom as you guys can see by those awesome rims like yeah those uh, are the la uh, frs spec first place rims and in my opinion they are probably the best uh, first place rims out there even though they are not the rarest we'll, we'll get to that but uh, still this car very special and I actually got quite recently uh, I actually added a guy because I wanted to trade for his custom evo and you know I was just like casually going to his garage and then I noticed this and of course I offered for it and I think I'm not sure uh, what I actually gave for it wait I actually uh, for this civic I gave uh, Pretty much, uh, it had this, uh, the exact same scheme. I gave him the GTR Nismo uh, with those same first place rims and Matt White as well. Maybe not the wisest of trades, but I actually really wanted a custom Civic for a long time because you guys probably know there are, there are cars called the Devil Civics in the game, and pretty much they are a body kit. Uh, they are a body kit which has been vaulted and. Uh, uh, it's called the Devil Civic because it makes uh, the card look a bit more aggressive, I guess, because the blinkers are actually white instead of orange. I'm sure I have a pic uh, of a Devil, uh, Devil Civic somewhere. Uh, also, the prices on those are just outrageous, but still, I think that this one is probably the one which I'm gonna be keeping, and I don't really need a Devil Civic in my garage, even though it would be nice, maybe one day. Next up, we have the RWB Pandora one, and uh, the run which you guys are watching right now is actually my first ever run with this car. Yeah, I had it for a few months. It's one of the very few cars which I actually bought with RLC. Uh, it was actually in the comment section, I believe, that someone made a comment that he was selling this car. And I was like, eh, I kind of want the Pandora one. And then, you know, I went ahead, uh, went to his garage, saw it, and I was like, yeah, I need to have this. So I actually went ahead, added him. I think I paid like 12 mil for it or something like that, which, okay, it was it was a pretty good deal. That's why I took it. Uh, but uh, still, this car, those, greens, uh, those green rims that it has on it are one of the rarest rims in the game, the first place rims from the 2001 WRC. Really sick rims in my opinion. But it also has Copo rims, uh, which arguably look even better. So there is that. This car is 68 tuned, I don't really know how to drive it, uh, so you know, if one of you guys actually knows how to, please comment below and who knows, maybe I'll pink slip it or something, yeah, that's not, that's not happening. This is one of the cards which I'm probably gonna sell, because I got some kick-ass offers from it, and I'm not sure, it might also be cloned, which is kind of weird, but then again, I don't think I actually saw a Pandora one which looked like this before, so that's, that's hopefully a good sign. Next in line, we have the Nissan Skyline R34, and this car is very special once again because of its rims. Those are the TE37s, the sticker bumped ones, which have been vaulted a while ago, and it's actually super hard to get uh, your hands on one of those these days. I know that I have been looking for a new one with them, I, I haven't even seen one yet, so that's gonna be uh, a challenge for that, but still, this car has them. Unfortunately, it's not the biggest size possible, but, but still, you know. I'm not really sure how I got this car, it could have been a donation, all I know is that it's been a long time ago and I think I was the guy who actually put NOS on this car just because I wanted to turf tune it to the 63 lobby and I actually have uh, the tune that's on this car is actually on my channel, go look it up, it's actually really really good and I got super close to the world record for it, not in uh, the run which I showcased here uh, because I struggled to get a perfect launch with this car, it's pretty tricky. 
But uh, still, I really do like this card, and it's one of the cards which I'm definitely gonna be keeping. Okay, I've been waiting for a while to actually show you guys this Agera in particular, and uh, well, the reason for that is, out of all the cards which I have showcased in this video, this card had by far the most work put, to, uh, put into it, and you guys will see why in a few seconds. This card is something which people uh, on uh, Racing Alice call a rim whore because, well, it has a shitload of rims, and by shitload of rims, I mean pretty much every single RLC and gem rim in the game, and including most of the crate ones as well. Not only really that many first place ones, but still. Um, you know, considering how much um, the fucking vaulted crate rims and the first place rims are worth uh, these days, for example, I saw that from the inventory, uh, those rims that the car has on them right now, the first place Mustang Race Edition rims, I think they sold for 50 bucks alone, so... Actually, this car was donated by uh, it is it Staged Pirate 1898 a while ago because he was quitting. I think he quit, but um, still, he gave me this car and he told me to keep it. And I will be keeping this because, holy shit, this car, it is unbelievable how, you know, this car is still... How do, how do they say this? That the guy wasn't, uh, wasn't actually scammed for it because of all the work uh, that, you know, it was put into it. And last, we have the Acura NSX. I got so used to the NSX Arada, I was actually quite surprised to find out that this car, in fact, wasn't an NSX Arada. It was just normal Acura, but that's actually what makes it special. So I actually did for this a few days ago, and I got a really good deal for it as well. And I'm gonna be keeping this because, first off, it's one of the cards which I I really struggled to drive back in the day and now it's actually not that difficult uh, once you get used to it uh, as you guys can see from the time I'm not really sure about the shifting in this car but still I put those rims onto it myself because I think that uh, the actual color scheme on the car they uh, the rims work quite well with the paint so there is that and uh, well it's probably one of the cards which I'm gonna be keeping who knows maybe I'm gonna get some uh, more campaign custom cards because who doesn't love a cards that really, you know, stand out because I do and uh, well, I think I'm gonna finish it here, uh, thank you guys for watching please let me know which uh, card out of these ones you like the most and if you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know as well uh, anyways, my name is Jerry, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye